Today we're looking at the Moyu Weilong WR. Hope you can read Chinese. Oh, pfft. <laughs> Maglev. Wow. It's purple. Oh, wow, look at that. This looks amazing. I love when cubes have different colored internals. My favorite one is still the Chinese New Year Gan cube with the red internals, and that's just because, well, red looks amazing, but also because it just looks different from the outside, and this one just looks like black until you actually open it up. Let me know in the comments which color you guys think would make the coolest internals. Let's give this a try. Wow. This, <laughs> this feels really strange. Oh, I'm loving the purple. I'm gonna do a few more turns before I really talk about this because I just really want to get a feel for how different this is. I've never felt anything like this. Oh, the slice moves feel even weirder. This, this is such a fast cube, but in a different way than I've felt before. Like, I've felt fast cubes before. This one feels not only fast, but also really low friction. At this moment, I'm not sure how much I can trust my turns on this, but I'm pretty sure I can get used to it, as more recently, I've been more down to use fast cubes just because my finger tricks have changed a lot, and it just makes fast cubes more forgiving sometimes. Wait, I need to use the standard version for a sec. The standard Worm 2021 is fast, but they definitely do not feel the same at all. This one feels like it's gliding on nothing. I think it's time to check out the core. I'm really excited to see how this maglev stuff works. From the outside, it looks about the same as before. We have this blue ring on the outside that you can use to change the settings of the spring compression. I guess I shouldn't call it compression or springs because that's not in this cube anymore. I'm gonna need this. Oh, actually, this is great. Remember when I got the Worm 2021 and it came with this giant box? I guess they're not doing that anymore so they can lower the price, which honestly is just amazing. I always hated the cube packaging. I don't usually do this, but I'm going to completely remove the screw so we can take a look at what's on the inside. Actually, maybe right now I do want the extra packaging because it would just show me what the inside looks like with the extra stuff. Ah, whatever. More work for me, less work for the environment. Oh, it just stuck to my screwdriver. Let's just take this moment to remove a layer and admire the purple internals. Okay, enough of that. I'm going to extract this centerpiece. <laughs> this is the screw and there is a magnet underneath it. I guess the screw is a bit magnetic and it just stays attached to the top. And there is another one of the same magnet that goes underneath this and these repel each other. Oh, that attracts. We flip it upside down, now they repel each other. So I can try to push them together, but generally they try to stay apart from each other. The lower magnet goes inside this blue cup, and then what I'm gonna, oh. Ah, I forgot how fun magnets are. <laughs> oh, this screw is destroying my fingers. Maglev is short for magnetic levitation. When you have magnets, there are two poles, and if you get the opposite poles to touch each other, they will attract, but if you put the same poles near each other, they will repel. This acts much like a spring when you try to pull down, the magnetic force resists that. And then there's also the adjustment system around this, so I'll show you how that works. The blue cup has teeth around it that go up to different levels. And when this sits inside the center cap, you can turn it so that it is higher or lower. When you move the cup up and down, it changes the distance between the two repelling magnets. And the way that magnets repel is if they are closer together, there is a stronger repulsion force. And when they are further apart, the force is weaker. If you make this force stronger, then your cube will be more stable, but also slower. And if you make it weaker, the cube is more flexible and faster. And this works the exact same way as the old springs, where when you move the cup up, the spring compresses and then exerts a stronger force back. So why did they replace the springs with magnets? For springs, when the cube turns, there is friction inside the core as well because of the springs and the screw interacting with each other. But with maglev, the stuff in the core doesn't touch each other, so when you turn the cube, there is no extra friction in the core. And it seems like this allows the cube to move faster and have a lower friction feel. Now, as I tried to record that part, I had my fair share of struggling with these, so just some tips for putting it back together in case you ever take this apart. Start by putting one magnet ring onto the screw in whatever orientation you'd like, and then take the other magnet and find out which side repels. So clearly this attracts, but if I flip it upside down and go from underneath, this repels. 
Once you have found that orientation, just attach it to the screw like this, and then you can put it inside the blue cup like that. If you put them on the wrong way, just remove them from the screw, and don't try to pry the magnets apart this way. Instead, try to split them apart sideways, and then you'll easily pull them apart. Then just put all of this inside the center cap and back into the cube. Wow, I, I still I still just can't get over how weird this feels. It it's so fast. I feel like I feel like there's a lot of potential with this cube just because of how fast it is. And of course, if you want to slow it down, that's fine. Just put in some lubes that slow it down. But a cube that starts out this fast is great because trying to get a slow cube to become fast is always more difficult than the other way around. The pieces on the maglev worm look identical to the ones in the worm 2021. So these should be the same cube. And since the springs or maglev shouldn't really affect corner cutting, I'm just going to take a look, but it should be very good and the same as on the worm 2021. 21. Then of course there's this magnet system where you use these black tools inside to change them. Oh and also this blue tool is for the blue thing inside the core. I just use my fingers but you can use this too. Now I'm not going to test out all of the settings but I do want to test out one setting and that is just by changing the maglev stuff to the highest setting instead of the lowest setting so it should give me a bit of a slower cube and I want to see how the adjustment works for this. So I will be adjusting it the same way as before but I'm wondering how it feels on different settings because of course this is a little bit different from the springs. We are now on the highest setting, the blue pops out a lot more, and I'm going to do this on all of the sides and it should give me a slower but more controllable feel and I'm curious how that feels. <laughs> what? This, oh this feels weirder. Somehow the turning speed still feels really fast, but oh wow the cube, <laughs> I can't turn. The cube just feels so rigid and a little bit slow, but also not really, it's so hard to describe. It almost feels like the cube has terrible corner cutting, but it doesn't. It's just that it takes so much more effort than usual. It feels so bad on this setting. I have to turn so accurately, but it's also bad in a way that I've never felt before. Okay, if you get this cube, I would not recommend this setting, but I recommend trying this setting because I have never felt anything like this. I was just adjusting the magnets. The tip is already unusable after adjusting half of the edges. Good thing I have my GAN screwdriver. I did some solves on this cube and it is really good. You guys don't have to agree, but if I say so myself, my turning looks pretty good here, especially for not having practiced 3x3 much lately. I am definitely getting much better with fast and loose cubes, or maybe it's just this one because this one is really good when it's very fast. But when I changed the inner blue maglev setting into a higher or a tighter setting, it didn't work very well anymore. The cube came at the lowest setting, and I did show earlier at the highest setting it is really weird to turn, but when I just put it at setting 2, it was already not as extreme, but still a little bit weird to turn. So I just kept it at the lowest setting, which I'm calling 0. I also have the magnets on setting 3, with 1 being the strongest and what I got out of the box. I feel like 1 is fine as well, I don't really care too much about the magnet strength. And I guess my summary for this cube is, it is really good, it is extremely fast, but the one problem is, if you want to slow it down through the settings in the core, it probably is not a good idea. Slow it down with lube or just get a slower cube. Hey, maybe the RS3M 2021, which also has maglev, maybe that one will be slower. I'm still yet to find out, but if it's anything like the 2020, it will be a more controllable version of this, so I'm excited to try out that one as well. If you want an extremely fast cube, the Maglev Worm 2021 is phenomenal. You can get it on Speedcube Shop for $30 through a link in the description, and honestly $30 is pretty great for this, especially because they got rid of some of the packaging. Just kidding, it's less than $30 if you use the discount code JPERM. Thank you to Speedcube Shop for sending this to me, and of course, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time.